OK, let's go to South Korea and the capital, their Seoul. And if I said that this lady makes half a million dollars a year, you may assume that she's a, well, she's a banker, a lawyer, or a senior executive. How about an English teacher? Yep. That's because the education industry is very big business in South Korea, as Steve Evans reports now from Seoul. 7.30 in the morning, the start of the working day. For Gwen Lee's job, appearance is important, so this is essential preparation for the classroom. She earns half a million dollars a year teaching English to students who pay for her lessons, and they expect her to look smart. My yearly income is around $500,000, and I think um, I can do that because I can manage a big size classroom. Of course, the more numbers of students that I have in my classroom, I earn more money, but part of my income is coming from online. Every month, she teaches a thousand students in an actual classroom, but another 200,000 online. Hello everyone, it's me Gwen. She has a radio program and she writes textbooks, all adding up to that half a million dollars. This is very driven teaching. She's very animated, moving very energetically along a prearranged script. And these kids, they want to learn. They're paying money or their parents are paying money. And teacher Gwen Lee has the accoutrements of business, like a chauffeur. Her day is so tightly packed that she needs to use every moment. Her headquarters, from where the teaching's organized, are in Seoul's business district. Lunch is a business meeting with her assistants, who deal with online requests. This is work at hyperspeed. Koreans work hard. We work around the clock and, you know, they make best effort because I don't know why, but it's coming from their parents' generation. You know, we saw our parents, they went through the war, you know, era, and they thought that in order to survive, they have to work, you know, hard. South Korea is a pressurized country with pressure on students to achieve and pressure on teachers to deliver grades. Gwen goes to the gym, but even this is part of work. She reckons that keeping fit is a way of fending off illness. When you have 200,000 plus students, you can't afford to take time off. Stephen Evans, BBC News, Seoul.